Samuel Hawkins. I found my great grandfather Green Thurman from Anderson County that had served, and uh, he was one of the units. His unit was one of those units. That he's, he was actually at the, the Appomattox when General Lee surrendered. Christopher Jackson. Well, I'm going to say right now, I am 99.9% .9 certain that Martin Lindsay, who is buried in African American Cemetery Number 2, is my great-great-grandfather. Now, this year, you got somebody on her name, Morris M. Bell, in the 12th. United States colored heavy artillery. So now I gotta go home and do some more work. <laughs> David Brown. Uh, we all knew that growing up black here in Kentucky, the likelihood was that one or both of us, either me or my wife, had slavery in our family. And as a result of uh, the uh, archives that I was able to get uh, retrieved in Washington, D.C., I found out that Green Thurman was a slave in Anderson County to a lady by the name of Alma Lillard. Uh, and uh, they were a part of a family that were Confederate sympathizers. Uh, but at the time of the Civil War, Green Thurman went to her to seek permission to join the Union Army. She gave that permission to him. And almost 10 years later, she had to be the one to actually sign the identification papers that allowed him to get his pension as a result of the wound that he had received during the Civil War. Merritt Braxton. Yeah. Corporal Anderson Brown. Yeah. Chapman Coles. Yeah. Henry Dupee. Yeah. George Jones. Yeah. 